Hello children. Today I am here with another video of class 7 science chapter 2 nutrition in animals. In this chapter we will discuss about the different steps involved in the nutrition in animals, different organs which are associated with the different steps and also the different glands and their functions. So first of all we will discuss about the different steps. The nutrition in animals generally started with the ingestion then digestion absorption assimilation and the ejection the last step is the ejection and when we are talking about the different organs the first organ is the mouth or the buccal cavity then esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine rectum and anus okay now we'll start the main important thing that is the digest digestion of food in the different organs the first one is the mouth or the buccal cavity and it is starting with the process of ingestion the process of intake of food in the mouth this process is known as ingestion and this process takes place inside the mouth or the buccal cavity and in the buccal cavity due to the presence of the saliva the starch break down into the simple sugars and then the next organ is the stomach before stomach Stomach is connected with the uh, buccal cavity with a pipe-like structure which is known as the esophagus. Now, stomach plays a very important role in the digestion of food. The inner lining of the stomach secretes mucus, hydrochloric acid and the different types of digestive juices. The mucus protect the inner lining of the stomach then the digestive uh, hydrochloric acid they maintain the ph medium which is helpful for the digest digestion of food and also this hydrochloric acid they helps to kill the different types of bacteria which may enter in our stomach with the help of the through the food and the digestive juices they break down the proteins into the simple substances then the next one is the small intestine. The small intestine is highly coiled and is about 7.5 meters long. It receives the secretion from the liver and the pancreas. Here we have to remember that the liver is the largest gland present in our body. It is the largest gland and it secretes the bile juices which are stored in a sac-like structure known as uh, gallbladder and the bile plays an important role in the digestion of fats. Then next absorption in the small intestine. How does the food absorb in the small intestine? Now the inner lining of the small intestines have thousands of finger like outgrowths and these outgrowths plays an important role in the digestion of foods because these uh, finger like outgrowths which are known as villi they are directly connected with the blood vessels so that when the food passes through this uh, inner lining of the small intestine with the help of the villi the blood vessels the bloods can directly absorb the minerals and nutrients and this villi increase the surface area for the absorption of food then the next one is the large intestine it is about 1.5 meter in length and its function is to absorb the water and some salts and the undigested food from the undigested food and material the remaining waste passes into the rectum and remains there as a semi-solid phases. This facial matter is removed through the anus from time to time and this process is known as ejection. So this is all about the nutrition in animals. Here we have to, here the children you have to remember that the important steps and the important organs which are related in the nutrition in animals. So this is all about the nutrition in animals. Thank you for watching this video.